Welcome to the product presentation of the Sonoscreen ST10 Flow Detector. The Sonoscreen ST10 has a very robust aluminum housing and is IP66 protected against water and dust. You have uh, the charging connector right here, the USB connectors for data transfer, and two probe connectors, the sender and the receiver for a single element probe doesn't matter which one you use, you can use either one. In order to go into the menu, you simply push the left hand wheel and whenever you see an arrow, you can go further into the menu. In order to go back, you push the right hand wheel. To navigate up and down, simply scroll the wheel up and down. You see that depending on which menu you are in, that several soft keys are appearing on the bottom of the device. In order to open a soft key, simply press it and to change the value inside the key, always use the left hand wheel. Okay. When you want to go back into the menu, make sure that the soft key is closed. Up here you have a gate zoom. You can freeze the screen, you can take a screenshot of the A-scan and all data and settings. You can change the background brightness right here and you can lock the screen right here. Okay. On the right side you see an indicator right now that you're measuring the peak that the measurement mode is full wave, you're on a pulse echo measurement, and the pulse repetition frequency is on maximum. The gain can be changed with both hand wheels when the menu is closed and no soft key is activated. Up here you have one, two, three point five different measurement values right now, but they can be customized and you can have up to ten different values up here. Also you see an indicator of which probe is selected, the measurement context, the date and the time. The battery status, the increment of the gain and the alarm status. Down here you have your measurement range. At the moment you're measuring from 0 mm to 101 mm. Let's do a sample test setup. The most important menu point is the test menu. The first thing you want to do is you want to select your probe. You have two options. All the Zonotech probes are already pre-installed and you can simply select from a list. Right now we want to use a WS74 70 degree 4 MHz probe with a 8x9mm element. So we're going to select that probe and it's up here, we can double check the right probe was selected. When you want to use a probe from a different manufacturer, that's no problem either. You simply go to create new probe, you put in all the data, select that probe and you can go ahead. But at the moment we have the Sonotech probe here, so we are going to use that one. So your probe was selected, the next thing you want to define your test object. As we are doing a calibration on a V1 steel calibration block, we are going to select steel and the transversal wave as the uh, material and sound speed. So that is a default value of 3255 meters per second. You can also put in new materials and have a uh, material uh, list. The next, next thing you want to do is make sure that your range is okay. As we are measuring on a V1 block at the 100 mm radius and we also want to see the second reflection, we need at least 200 mm. So I'm going to put that to approximately 250 mm. So we're going back to the distance adjustment, which is the menu for calibration. And here you can put in the reference positions manually. Reference position 1, 100 millimeters. Reference position 2, 200 millimeters. Or you can select from a calibration block list. 
Okay. When you have done that, you simply go to perform adjustment, putting the probe on the block, and we are maximizing our echoes. Should be right here. And then you put the gate on the first echo, set reference one. Put the gate on the second echo, increase the gain a bit, set reference two, and press done. Now we can check if the calibration was performed correctly by simply moving the gate back to the first echo and our sound path should be 100 millimeters, which it is. Second echo should show 200 millimeters, and it does. Okay, so calibration was performed correctly. Now we can move to actually measuring our weld or whatsoever. We have a sample weld right here. Thickness is approximately 12 millimeters. So we are going to change that. So test object, thickness 12 millimeters. It's a flat object, but you can also test convex or concave surfaces and put in a diameter. Now we want to shorten our range. So we are going to try to center these two lines, which is the half skip and the full skip, as we are looking for flaws right between these two lines. Put the gate right in there and we can start testing. Use a bit more couplings. So we have a flaw right here. Let's freeze the screen and we can see that the distance from the top of the probe is about 30 millimeters, which is that value. And the depth of the, of the flaw is approximately 8.5 millimeters. So that is right in the middle of our weld seam, should be correct. Now we can go over to reporting. What we're going to do, we are going to hit that screenshot button. It automatically saves the, the A scan, all the features of the, of the unit, the settings, and so on. We're going to connect our USB flash drive and transfer the data to it by going to storage, transfer internal to external, select the screenshots, OK. The device now automatically saves the screenshots on the flash drive. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to connect it to the computer. Now we can open the report generator software. And the first thing we need to do is source our file. So we're going to source the flash drive. On that flash drive you have a folder called Sonoscreen, data, and by the date and time you can find your setup and screenshot. You can also type in some user data like the tester name, the company name, measurement context, some comments, and you can browse a company logo or put in any picture like a picture of the test object whatsoever. And then you just go to print or create your PDF which looks like that. And that is basically it. Thank you for your attention and have fun using the Zona Screen ST10.